I don't know if it's supposed to be this laggy or not. It says three frames per second. Jesus. There's a dick. You can pick a dick as your uh, company logo. Right there. Uh, okay. I think I'm going to go with the skull with the gas mask. Jesus Christ. It actually said zero frames per second for a second there. Now it's up to, I guess, a more reasonable 19 frames per second. I don't even know if it's recording right because this thing's lagging out so much. At Cybernetics Pioneer, Dracogenics is making headlines with what they're calling instant consciousness transferal technology. But many are already referring to it as resurrection. Investors are scrambling for a piece of Dracogenics. The list of wealthy donors has increased with celebrities and politicians from around the world jumping on board. The Restec Satellite Network has expanded globally, making Dracogenics a household name Allegations overnight. Allegations swirling today as rivals accuse Dracogenics of trading immortality for political hmm. interests. Decent cutscenes like this. I'm having a hard time telling if that's computer generated or actual footage of real people. That one's real people. But that looks like computer generated. The other one looks computer generated. But they're newly appointed judge dismissed the charges, calling them quote frivolous and unfounded. Dracogenics have nobly provided their own private security force to assist in subduing the last stubborn holdouts of the city's poor and desperate. They announced the offenders are safely confined to the lower levels of the city where the conflict is. Dangler responded today to claims of a new threat from a shadowy hmm. corporate rival. Answering a call to action from stockholders, Mr. Dangler denied rumors of Restex secrets being stolen in an act of corporate espionage. It's just in. We're hearing that city police have apprehended a suspect related to the wave of recent anti dracogenics attacks. City security forces have the suspect now in custody after a gunfight with police that left several dead. Okay, comms are a go. Hi, I'm your company contact, providing mission intel and support. Call me Tag. I'll supply data to assist with side jobs. But remember our overall mission here, breaking Dengler's monopoly on ResTech and taking the authority and power it gives him. We're running a ResTech system ourselves, but it's flaky as hell. Its range is limited to our relay beacons and there are no long-term backups. So if you lose an agent, don't wait all day before hitting upload. It's not perfect, but it might just give us the edge we need. We've re-established the signal with one of our agents, but the others are scattered, so the first thing we need to do is to reassemble the team. Voice comms will be minimal for most of the op. Communications are heavily monitored in the city, so encrypted okay. text is our most secure way of keeping in touch. I'll open up voice channels again when necessary. Good luck. You're going to oh, need okay. it. Okay, middle Thank mouse you. controls my camera, which is apparently a drone. Okay, to move is to right click or to press F, zoom. Okay. Or press 1. What am I supposed to do? Tells me to click that, and then what? There it goes. Okay, I'm gonna go step by step like this. You're literally gonna tell me each step to take. Oh look, there's somebody to, I guess I'm going to sh shoot at. Click 
Click the weapon button. What's the weapon button? Dude is like invincible. What? Well, neither one of you is gonna hit anything. You're shooting at him while he's ducking. I wish the camera would actually just follow the character, but no, you gotta move the character and then move the camera to go with it. I don't... I, it's a door. There are holes in things that are sometimes closed. When they're not closed, people and things can move through them. Well, thanks. How do I get through it? It's a little overly complicated on the camera movements. It's like the camera movements are so complicated that I've forgotten. Oh, well, that helps. Okay. I have to get through it before. I've, uh, I've got a very limited time to get through the door. How am I supposed to do that? How do I get through the door? Oh, it says t press it times two. I guess maybe pressing it twice. So, yeah, okay. This thing, like, the camera controls are so complicated that I'm not even noticing some of the other things that I'm supposed to do. Like, it'll tell me, it, it said I needed to use the terminal. What is that new message attacking? Okay. How do I go back? Oh, look, you can just do that, okay. There's a camera there, so I'm gonna hide. And now I'm gonna start shooting at the camera. Oh, I was I was in the wrong spot, sorry. That was stupid. Like you literally have to go to the exact spot for the tutorial. Wow. I've already shot the camera out and it's still going through the tutorial on how to kill it.
I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. Oh, now I've got two, two agents here. Both of them pull out their weapons. Where's the other terminal? Oh, crap, it's all the way down here. Using the world scan ability? Yeah, okay. That's what I figured. I could already see it anyway, so that was kind of stupid. I think I can make it through. Are you kidding me? I didn't. Oh, that was stupid. Like, what? I wonder what happens if one of them gets through and the other one doesn't. Because you need both of them to open to open the door. Oh, it opens that door. Never mind. I was trying to go through this door that doesn't even exist. Apparently. I don't even know where I'm trying to go. Oh shit, that guy's coming back. Nope, okay. He spotted us anyway. Never mind. I was trying to slip past him, but it didn't work. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I guess I'm going over here. An interesting game, anyway. Uh, uh, it would be a typical first-person shooter, but it's not a first-person shooter, so I guess it's a little bit different than usual. I don't know what that thing there is.
Okay, I don't know if these people... They don't seem to have guns, so I don't know if they're good people or bad people. So... Oh, okay, they just kind of ignore you. There was something there. Where did that thing go? What is this thing? have a hacker. Select hacker to use. I don't have a hacker. I've got support and soldier. How do I do that then? Where's the terminal for this door? Okay, so there's two. How do I open this door? I don't know, I guess I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, what's that? Why didn't that show up sooner? Okay, now I have the hacker. How do I select all three of them? I guess I'm done doing that. I would rather have them all selected. But whatever. What just happened?
Oh, okay. Agents is dead. How did that happen? It's gonna be a long video. Uh, well, you know what? Let me go ahead and uh, well, let me go ahead and cut the video short here. Uh, otherwise, this thing's gonna be hours and hours long. Uh, this is it's a decent game. I mean. It's kind of like a uh, Tom Clancy Splinter Cell style game where you're sneaking around and trying to avoid conflict, but yeah, anyway, it, it seems to be pretty good, but I'm not going to be able to really play it and get in depth in it in a video like this, so uh, yeah, I'm, just, I'm gonna kill these guys and then just keep going. Anyway, I'm just gonna go. I'm not, one guy is reloading there. I don't know why he's picked up. I don't know why he's going out like that. But that's I wish they would run a little faster. There we go. Anyway, see you.